Today we're going to be looking at Samsung's 4K flagship OLED TV for 2024, the S95D. This is a TV that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in because of its one characteristic that is very unique to OLED TVs, and that is the OLED glare-free technology. I'll get into exactly what this means for the OLED TV and the actual contrast of the TV in a little bit. But first, I want to make sure you guys know that I did fly out to Samsung to check out this TV. I got to test pretty much whatever I wanted on the TV and display everything that I wanted on the TVs. And I also get to say whatever I want about the TV as well. So I'll give you my pros and cons on this TV because I do have quite a few in both areas. So what exactly is the S95D? Well, it is the successor to the S95C, which was also a QD OLED. This is using a newer technology, so it is more advanced than the S95C. And of course, it does have this OLED glare-free technology. Now, I really want to be clear, this video is going to be mainly about the OLED glare-free technology because this is going to be a big decision point on whether or not you're going to buy this TV over the S95C or the S90D. So I will be shooting from different angles and shutting the lights on and off so you can get a real look at this TV. Now at first glance, I do wanna say that straight on, this looks like an OLED TV. There's nothing that would deter me from thinking that it was an OLED TV and that if I saw this in a dark room at all times, I would think it was an OLED TV. Not until you actually do things to the screen, like shine a light on it, or look at it at a different angle with the light on it, that you understand that it has a unique OLED glare-free technology. So this is something that does impact picture quality to a certain degree, and in most cases, it is to the benefit of the OLED TV. Because you are going to eliminate a lot of situations where light would mess the screen up in terms of your actual viewing experience. Take a traditional OLED TV and shine a light directly on it. You will see that it will light up the whole entire screen and you will see reflections of your whole entire environment around you. And it will almost be like a mirror. So that's one thing that you'll have to really understand about most OLED TVs. And when you get into a situation where you do have this, then it's going to create a bad viewing environment for those of you trying to watch a show in the daytime that's a little bit darker. Now, when it comes down to the OLED glare-free coating, this is going to help a lot with that. So we shined a light directly onto the screen. This was Stop the FOMO's light, another creator, and his light was very bright. I would say it's almost daylight bright. It was something that you definitely wouldn't want to look at directly. I captured a little bit of a video of this light, but just look at how this light hits the screen and what you see on the screen from this light. Now, if we were to do this with any other OLED TV, it would light up the whole entire TV screen. You would see a reflection of everything in the entire room, and you would see the light having a bigger effect on the screen itself. So reflections wasn't an issue when we shine the light on the screen, other than the light itself reflecting back within a small circle. And I'm telling you that this really was surprising to me because I didn't expect it to be this effective. But after seeing this light test done, I was starting to lean towards the side of, yeah, this is actually a really awesome technology and something that is going to be a game changer for a lot of homes. When it comes to movies, there's a lot of dark scenes. There's a lot of content that does not get very bright. And on an OLED TV, watching this in the daytime, good luck with that. It's not a very fun experience, especially if you have windows and you have a lot of light coming in. You're going to see big reflections of your windows on that screen. Trust me, I've done it. It's not a very fun experience. But with something like this, you could absolutely get away with watching the TV. And you know, we're going to put this TV to the test once we get it in the studio and put it next to the S90D because that's one thing I wish I did get to see at Samsung was it next to another OLED TV because when it comes down to still looking like an OLED TV, it still looks like an OLED TV. When I had the lights off and the room was completely dark, if you told me this was a glossy OLED with no anti-reflection, I would have believed you 100%. Because I didn't lose the appeal of an OLED TV. I didn't lose that shine, that luster that you get from watching an OLED TV. I didn't lose it at all in a dark room. But I would say that when impacted by light, 
the blacks can look a little bit milky. However, I need to see this TV in a dark room next to another OLED TV without this glare-free coating. Now, when it comes down to gaming, I did some gaming on this TV, and I actually really liked what I saw in terms of the black levels. I didn't have any problems with it. It looked like an OLED TV to me, and we had it in different lighting scenarios with the same game running. I was running Gotham Knights on there because it was a darker game, and I wanted to see how the screen is going to handle this game. Again, to me, at first glance, it felt much like an OLED TV. Straight on. Straight on is the really important thing to remember here. At different angles, this TV does seem to look a little bit different. Now, I wouldn't say the viewing angles take away from contrast or color or anything like that. I would say that the finish of the actual screen coating does look a little bit different off angles than it does straight on. And that's just something that even on camera, it'll capture a lot worse off angle than it does straight on, in my opinion. I don't think this is ever going to be a huge detriment to anybody in their living room or anything like that. It still, to me, is way better than any mini LED TV at the same exact cost. So that is one of the things where I can't really think of a detriment with light having an impact on your screen. So that's the way I kind of look at it. Show me an alternative that can do anything close to what this does with light and reflections and be able to have the same exact contrast levels. I don't think it exists. And that's probably why we see this created by Samsung. So I know that's a lot of back and forth on the OLED glare free design. But to me, this is one of the most important parts about this TV. It's an excellent TV. Like on paper, this TV is amazing. The thing that's going to push people to buy this TV or push them away from buying this TV, though, is the OLED glare free technology. This is a risky decision by Samsung to put this on a flagship OLED TV. But I do think it will be a decision that helps people more than it hurts people. Because I do think there are more people that are impacted by glare and have a bright space then there is people in a very dark room not everybody is going to have a bat cave not everybody is going to have their own space where they can completely black out the room now i'm not going to pretend that there's going to be a few people that really just do not like this screen because it can be sort of a shock to the system when you first see it if you're used to oled tvs it doesn't look like your traditional oled tv especially from an angle like i was mentioning but i do think the pros greatly outweigh the cons when it comes down to this screen coating. You are going to eliminate glare in your home. That might be a perfect solution for your house. Bright room TV all the way through. So hopefully this kind of helps you make a decision on whether or not you're going to get the S95D or not. And stay tuned to the channel because I'm not done with the S95D. We will have a ton of comparisons and another look at the S95D once we get it into our hands. So make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss those videos. But overall, I think this is a fantastic TV and a lot of people are going to really love this TV. And if you don't like this TV, chances are it's probably just not for you. And that's okay. It's not going to be a TV for everybody. But I do want to let you know there is another OLED TV from Samsung. It's the S90D and you can check out that video right here. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.